if we don't know who we are. That's the only thing we can really be certain of in this world. That's, that's the one innate thing that we can be sure of. And if you can't be sure of that, you can't be sure of anything. I always thought I was just gonna, that I was just a princess until I was like seven. And then that's when I started getting bullied. I just felt like I was forced to live a lie for a very long time. I was forced to, to be a boy, which I'm not. I never was. I don't think that she has ever identified as a boy. From about the age of three, she would say things like, you do know that I'm not really a boy. You do know I'm secretly a girl. I've always known there was something different about me, me daughter, um, and I thought it, she was either going to be gay or there was going to be, you know, she's going to come out and say, well, I'm in the wrong body. My granddaughter, she'd come out as, uh, as female. Although it's a shock to the system at first when it does happen, we were fully supportive and have been and will remain so. It wasn't a big, big deal that our, our son was transgender because we've sort of been open to things and it was never an issue. Uh, I think it was about five or six and I had my hair cut short and I was always playing with the lads. Like, there was no like girls that were knocking on for me and stuff. It was always the lads who'd go play football all the time, be out on the parks with BMX and stuff and I never wanted to be around girls. I was always chasing them around the playground and stuff like that was, that was just who it was. I came out pretty much as soon as I encountered the fact that young people could be trans because beforehand the only exposure I've had to trans people were um, trans women being the butt of the joke of comedy shows and um, I hadn't even encountered the possibility that trans men existed. At the end of the day all you want to do is make your child happy. It doesn't matter what you know how you go about it you just want them to be happy. I think I'm super happy at the minute like I'm in a good place I'm just waiting for surgery dates, I'm just waiting for the rest of my life. Like, at the minute I'm a trans guy and I'm quite happy with that and I'm quite out about it because I don't see the point in being shy. Like, nothing to be ashamed of. I just thought this is who I am. I'm a girl and I always have been. It does get better because it, it really does. Even though you're going through a really awful time at the moment, it does get better. Oh, it's made me feel one of the happiest people on earth and I'm just going to try to carry on with all the courage they've given me and keep it in my heart. I really feel accepted now. I feel much, much happier than I was before. I haven't been this happy ever, never in my life. It's a blessing. There's the ability to reinvent yourself and to bring your confidence out and show your best self to the world and then there's all the little things like getting your um, first letter to the GIC or getting the name changed, the little euphoric moments of those little milestones, those steps to becoming who you are. It's so inspirational to see that other families' children have progressed. They really are changing people's lives.